Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Every nation made propaganda films during the Second World War, and films like Mrs. Miniver and Went the Day Well are rightly considered classics. But for the most part, we do not see German propaganda films. In fact, for most people, the period of Nazi control feels like a lost decade of German cinema. Documentary Hitler's Hollywood, German cinema in the age of propaganda, which you can stream on Amazon Prime, seeks to redress that balance. His films are better than their reputations. With narration by Udo Kier, whose creepy intonation actually suits the somewhat portentous phrasing. Imitations of life that work like drugs slowly seep into the audience subconscious. The documentary quickly makes it clear that under the Nazis, all cinema was propaganda because they controlled it. And in 1942, everything became one state, one monopoly. Ufa film. So there are varying shades of propaganda, from the most obvious in Leni Riefenstahl's Triumph of the Will, to narrative films which are, to be honest, not that subtle either. Hast du einen Spiegel? all the way on to a host of happy-go-lucky musicals where the message is far more sublimated. It's a potentially fascinating story and a reminder that not all technical and artistic talent went to Hollywood when Hitler came to power. It's also an introduction to a bunch of films, most of which you likely won't have heard of. For example, The Four Companions. The Four Companions is one of the most interesting films of this era. Starring Ingrid Bergman six years before she made Casablanca. The problem the documentary has is one rather of its own making. How is such a film to be assessed? That's a question that has to be answered. And the film just doesn't have a perspective, unclear if it should celebrate or revile these films. As if they are, perhaps understandably, afraid to say, this is well made, but in the service of the outright abhorrent. Propaganda is a kunst. Having said at the start that these films are better than their reputations, the rest of the film is spent frantically backpedaling. It's a film documentary that's afraid to be passionate about film. Its only clear perspective is, Nazis were bad, these films exist, which I'm not arguing with, but it means that the documentary is reduced to a list of films with little detail about any of them, like, which would be worth seeing. This is a German musical remake of It Happened One Night. I want to know more. It does also betray an over-reliance on film theorist Siegfried Krakauer. Cinema knows something that we don't know. Whose thesis that the films a nation produces say something about the minds of the people seems a lot less relevant if cinema is state-controlled. And then the screen was empty. There's definitely some interesting stuff here and Perhaps it's doing the best job it can with really difficult subject matter, but I can't help feeling there was a better documentary to be made. On which subject, I would really recommend the documentary Nazi Titanic, an almost unbelievable making of story from this era. Thanks for watching. What propaganda films have managed to transcend their original purpose and become just good films? Let us know in the comments below.